catching on yet? Welcome back to 247 Motorsports. And this is the Builder's Brawl. Not to spoil the ending, but we won. We're back, baby. Builder's Brawl is pretty self-explanatory. Built, not bought, and you must be accepted into the race. Now only Brandon got to race because we couldn't get my car to fit the rule set. Which, maybe fingers crossed after seeing the daily driver turnout, that rule set may change. And this one took place at the Worldwide Technology Raceway near St. Louis, or I guess what they still consider, Illinois. This facility is gorgeous. Now this video may be a little long, but stay tuned because you don't want to miss this. Hey guys, get ready for Builder's Brawl this weekend. Um, I guess I kind of half backwards stuff because every weekend we get home, I'm so exhausted. I empty the necessities out of the trailer, but I tend to like leave the mess until the following Thursday when we're going to leave again. And then I clean the whole trailer and get everything ready. Um, but I come in here today. And it literally looks like a bomb went off. Builders for all prep. Power 
power steering. I said we bring it with all three. If they would get rid of her exhaust rule when the exhaust had to be at, on the back side of the tire at the driver's door. And so a three foot of difference, if that, of exhaust. And they cry about it and say no. When in reality, if I took the effort with the glide, take the air out of it, the K member, this, that, and other thing to get the car to have exhaust where it is, it's such a faster product anyways, all she would do is whoop their ass even more. If these guys keep it up with their crying, there's gonna be no such thing as modern muscle daily driver classes soon because the promoters are just sick of it. Like, I mean, it's, it's literally like a huge group of women racing in this stuff. And she's the only actual one that doesn't have a hang down. So, I mean, I don't know, what, right? Right. <laughs> that was an interesting way to put it. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. YouTube poll. Does exhaust, front exhaust make you go faster? Does it make you a race car? Does it kick you out of a daily driver? I don't know. We could talk all day long. But um, yeah, just bummed. I can't race this weekend. I did drive the car a lot this week, which was kind of nice. It was nice out. So got to drive the streetcar on the street a little bit and uh, I'm just gonna play crew chief today and get you guys some good footage and hopefully Brandon can uh, use his tuning skills and actually <laughs> we all see how that's been going and, and actually uh, go back to the Brandon we we knew maybe last year um, well I had a good first half of the season yeah, okay I just had a couple off weeks too we didn't bring the pool. I have. Um, there will be no shrinking. I have, we should be I, all right. I believe in him. I, we can do this. We got this. And it's a good track. I, I mean, smooth track. No crazy. Well, we'll see when we get there. But um, I would assume no crazy transitions or asphalt, concrete, asphalt, concrete. I would assume it's going to be smooth and hopefully we can get him A to B without pulling the tires to Six hours later, we arrive at this gorgeous facility. We set up our pits and we immediately start exploring. And look what we found for Lando Man. Definitely a story for another day, but I'll just say, whether any of the track management believe it or not, Landon at age 12 has a lot of jobs when he travels every weekend with us. Most of you have seen this kid works really hard. Now this facility has go-karts, apparently the fastest go-karts in St. Louis. And since the track doesn't go hot for us yeah. until four o'clock, we have a couple hours to spare. So these guys make a bunch of laps and it's awesome to see Landon having so much fun. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown After the second turn I had a blowout Ooh. Oh no I had a blowout He kicked your They ass. shut it off yeah, I had a blowout. I was on three tires the whole time. You kicked his butt. Was that cool? Yeah, the kid on the yellow helmet kept hitting me. He literally hit me into a wall. Look at what he did. That'll happen. No wonder you were so slow. Oh yeah, it was horrible. Hopefully the race goes nothing like the blowout and the go-kart well, I experience. saw you rowing and yeah, I was like, I was why like, is he it's rowing? slow as shit. I need a fucking paddle. Land? There's a blowout on my... Go. I'm just telling you to fight for your dreams But it's not what it seems Man, it's hard to be seen When everybody wants to be king Yeah, they all want to ring Yeah, we all want to be free So show me what you got, what you bring How you oh, fight in the risky, ring risky. How you take a risky That was risky business You got heart, are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs Are you willing to go leave? Mr. Zolper, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better now that Freddy's here I know, me too, right? <laughs> Test hit number one. Test hit number one. Lando, um, stop half track and fill me, all right? 
I can't believe we don't get time I don't know, that so I don't know what you uh, He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. Okay, guys, so in English. Dude, what are we at right now? currently editing, there's some social media drama with another racer. Not Brian, of course. We love Brian. But this video's a prime example of what kind of racer we are. We'll help anyone and everyone because we're all here. We all work hard for this. Each and every one of us deserve to win, competition or not. Will, will my wheel fit on your car? If a fellow racer's having problems, you can count on the Morks to try and brainstorm an idea or some way we can help you. And while Brian's not the only one, almost everybody here seems to be struggling in some way with this track. Brandon changed a lot of stuff to our tune-up and we're going to go up for a third test right now. Things are getting better and that went well. I'd sing, but you don't want to hear that. So happy birthday, Rick Dynick from No Pep Racing, and also a big shout out to Red Horse Performance, Kevin Fitz. We're going to go for one more test hit, and then wrap it up and try and get some sleep, because tomorrow's going to be a tough field and a long day. That's a lot of wild on the big end. We also got Brian's car to make a really good hit. He did end up leaving because he found another race that was just a better suit for his car for tomorrow. I think we all expected this surface and track to be a lot faster and better than what it really is. But now we've got four test hits in and we're feeling pretty confident about tomorrow. So time to get some sleep. Good morning! It's race day and 247 Motorsports is here to win. I've kind of been having some bad luck at the chip draws lately, but miraculously, I pulled a bye. Unfortunately, someone missed out on the meeting and jumped in, and we just said, hey, 
obviously will line up against you. No need to re-pull. So, round one against Colin Jolst. And this car is no joke. Hello, South Texas. As they say, everything in Texas is bigger. And look at this roots flow. This is the one car that I said last night I did not want to line up with today. It's time to move these cars into staging, and Colin had a few issues where he needed some tools where we were happy to help him out. And surprise, surprise, you've got Mork on the laptop making last minute power changes. Maybe this will clean it up. And that's the brand that we know. He probably made it worse. I bet it did. You could tell when he grabbed it because it has a really started damage. Yeah. It was motivating, I felt like. And now we have chip draw for round two. Fingers crossed I don't pull another killer. So we got through first round magically. Magically. Is that magic? Yeah. Is that the one car you said not to draw, right? Mm -hmm. And we ended up getting a buy. Asked through the buy, I was all happy, and then there was someone late to the round, and they're like, "Do you mind if we don't redraw and just give you the guy that was late to the thing?" And I just said, "Sure, whatever, I don't care." And then I quickly realized it was this black third gen Camaro with a roots blower that's just a crazy fast car from Texas, and I immediately was like, "Well, that was fucking stupid." So that could easily been a first round exit, and um, we got through it. I had to drive the shit out of it on the big end to get there. First pass, we pulled the shoot. Um, because we were a little hairy up top, but uh, we got through it, so thank goodness. Um, so now uh, we're on to round two. We have, we have a, a turbo Mustang, I think. So we're just gonna keep plugging away at it, and uh, hopefully we can find ourselves uh, going a few more rounds and doing something worth a shit. So, um, what do you think? Think we got this one? I, don't know, I haven't seen is. the car, so. I don't know what we got, you know, they're all, could win or lose at any time. I probably shouldn't have won that race and I did, so you just never know what's gonna happen. Uh, but on to round two. Round two, we get paired up with this single turbo Fox body Mustang owned by Wes Coates. We got a chance to hang out with Wes and his kid in the pits and really reminded us of us and Landon. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm just gonna shit on all the wood. 
I'll have you push me up there before I do. Round two. It is what it is. Oh, I got that. I got that. <laughs> So tonight we're racing on the tree with an instant green. You get a red light if you leave early. Unfortunately for Wes and Brandon, the tree malfunction. Red light didn't come up and the track officials called that they're going to rerun this race as well as the one prior to us where the exact same thing happened to Dan Strally. But before the rerun and then round three, we've got a little romance oh, for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like something's wrong with the car, so I'm gonna be in front of the car. Is okay. that cool? I got you. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is Ken Holden, and tonight he's gonna propose. Congratulations, Ken and Nikki. Ugh, I'm such a sucker for romance. And to propose at the drag strip? Great job, Ken. Wes and his family are really good people. And although we get to move on, it's unfortunate that a well-deserved racer has to go home empty handed. Oh, it was bound to happen. Oh. That was bound to happen. You got 11? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, it was bound to happen. And for this next round, semifinals, we pull the Strallies, which are friends of ours. Well, one year rerun, now we pull the Strallies. What do you think? We got Andy. We got Andy. Andy and his little truck. I was told to tell you, tell Brandon I'm gonna He said, no, don't tell him that. That sounds really bad. <laughs> what a clown.
Okay. I love you guys. Good luck. Andy? Race car, yes. <laughs> thinking we'd have where we would have coming here um, I, I thought we'd be able to run the car a, a little bit faster than we are but um, that one drifted to the right a little bit after Andy guessed the tree on me that <laughs> one potato two potato and uh, I went to the right I actually had two small pedals and it ran within a tenth of the best it's run so I think if uh, you know we could get lane choice here and put that guy in the worst lane, um, yeah, we could have a drag race. I mean, uh, it's uh, another roots blown Hemi or something, of course. So it's not. It's not going to be. It ain't no duck. Um, but the car's running how it needs to, I guess. Um, so. We're just gonna give it hell. I mean, that's all we can really do, right? We've made it to the final. So now we sit down and watch some videos of Baker's car from the weekend. Brandon changes the tune up and we do all the necessary pit stuff to the car. Because yet again, another killer that you don't wanna be matched up with. let alone in the finals, was a lot of money on the line.
Yeah. That's, I'm sorry. That's, that's him puking it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what I said. He's leaking gas. Yeah. Yeah. Fitting came loose under the sump. Okay, what do you need from me right now? Well, we can't do it. That, that, does, look like it huh? that does look like oil from up here. Well, this that? is just a that's slap a, tank. That's a, that's, yeah. a, that's a catch can from the motor. This is just pure fuel. Yeah, yeah this is gas. That's, that's gas? Yeah. So they know how to clean it up. It's just gas. I smelled it on the track. There's nothing yeah, else up there. It either, either a fitting's loose under the tank or it yeah. cracked, from all the tire yeah. shake, it cracked yeah. itself. Uh, they're just trying to figure out what they're going to Yeah, it's just, to clean it it's just pure alcohol. Okay. Hi, Winner. Why are we leaking? I don't know why we're leaking. What the fuck? But you won the builder's bra. I know, but we're going to leak this whole tank alcohol. I know, yeah. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal to push it back like this. Well, we got it done. Um, now we got to figure out why. It either, either I got a loose fuel fitting or... Uh, from all the tire shake this weekend, it, um, it could have possibly cracked the bottom of this aluminum cell or something. I'm not really sure, so we're going to have to address that. Other than that, you know, fuck yeah. You know, I, I, uh, I've been pretty down about the last couple of events and dumb mistakes, so even though we thought we were going to go like extremely fast here today, we ran pretty fucking fast. Um, and I was humble enough now to make the right decisions to go the speeds we need to go the rounds we needed to go and you know uh, it sucks we didn't get the race to the final I really wanted to race that guy in the final um, but you know people ship brakes you know um, it's part of racing so as much as we wanted to get the race in we didn't get to and uh, we won again so Hopefully uh, we can keep this momentum rolling again and um, you know, I had a great time. Definitely out of my element being on a nice track like this. So we just have to see how it plays out and where we go next. But, um... Okay, it's under control. Max. You can always do whatever the hell you want on my drive, okay, buddy? As long as I, you're not recording this. <laughs> what, did, what did you say, Freddie? I you're said, supposed Freddie, to... you need to get these people in line. I got yelled at like eight times. I got yelled at ten times trying to stick up for you, bud. <laughs> It's okay. Aww. You can do whatever you want now. <laughs> Let's have it in the morning. It was really hard to watch Lando sit this one out because of an age limit. He really loves doing these jobs for us and we rely on him a lot. All these things are going to teach him to one day become a really responsible driver to be able to come and race at places like this. We're really proud of this kid. Your dog is humping my leg, man. <laughs> oh, there and you go. then a pro mod starts the car and inches forward. What did you say? I want to recall you said, oh no, Brendan Mork is screwed. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. I played the fifth. I played the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Freddie, go. He on. was screwed. He was almost screwed, but he, he was, was almost screwed. screwed. Oh no. Oh no. Brendan Mork is screwed. <laughs> I knew that. No, I made hey, that face. At least I we, made that face. When you retire, we got our new announcer. <laughs> oh no, Brendan Wood is screwed. Okay, I'd help with the screws.
big thank you to Freddie, as always, for being the best announcer in all the racing industry. And, most importantly, Mr. Joe Zoper himself. Joe, you did an amazing job. This can only get better, and you can count on us to be at every single Builder's Ball as long as we're invited. And Brandon, after a lot of ups and downs, we're here. We're back, baby. 247 takes that win, and a lot of people wouldn't understand how much work it took us to get here. I'm proud of us. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown